Well, this was to be expected. As we're now officially in the year 2024, many people are really anticipating for Nintendo's next generation system or the Nintendo Switch 2 to finally come out this year. And with all of the credible sources and rumors and things that we heard about last year, all pointing towards something happening this year, even just seeing the types of games that Nintendo has this year with like no really any crazy big types of games. And they're mostly just kind of remakes with like Luigi's Mansion 2 and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and stuff like that, it really seems like Nintendo is kind of saving all of the crazy stuff because they have a brand new system that they're going to reveal very soon. And so I hate to break it to you, but if you don't like Nintendo Switch 2 videos or speculating about Nintendo's next system and talking about rumors and things, then you're probably going to be disappointed as a lot of these videos now are going to be coming out as we're getting closer to the system as there's just a lot of excitement in the air. Like ever since 2024 has started, I don't think the word Nintendo Switch 2 has stopped trending on Twitter. Like I can go right now and it's still there. It's still trending. There's just a lot of excitement and everybody is talking about this potential system. And as someone who enjoys tech and especially Nintendo hardware, I'm definitely going to be making some more videos talking about what I would want from a Nintendo Switch 2 and some other ideas and speculating on the rumors and things like that, as I do find it to be very fun and interesting. But like I said, if this is not the type of stuff that you're interested in, definitely don't have to watch these videos and you can definitely wait for when I talk about Pokemon or something else that you're more interested in. Right, but today we've got two major things that have actually come out. One of these is multiple developers actually talking about the possibility of the Nintendo Switch 2 and their excitement for it. And then we've also got some information about exactly what this system might be like and how much it might cost. All right, so the first article that we have here, it says, Nintendo Switch 2 2024 release seems to be a lock. Japanese developers are excited about it. And if we take a look at the article, it says here, the Nintendo Switch 2 has yet to be officially revealed, but it seems like its 2024 release is locked, judging from a recent comment from Capcom's Masayo Kawada. Despite Nintendo acting as if no new system is in the works, it seems like the new console from the company will indeed be released in 2024, as the Resident Evil 3 remake director said to the the Japanese publication 4Gamer how this year is going to bring new consoles and new indie titles to follow without mentioning it outright. So of course he did say here that there's going to be new consoles coming in 2024 so of course that could be referring to the Nintendo Switch 2 but it's also important to remember here that he says consoles with an S because it's anticipated that there's probably going to be a PlayStation 5 Pro this year as well but this isn't going to be like a next generation PlayStation 6 this is going to be kind of like the rumored Switch Pro that we were supposed to get where it's going to be like an updated version of the PS5 and supposedly it's going to have better capabilities and stuff and apparently I think even Xbox is going to have something like that too where the Xbox Series X could be getting some type of little upgrade that could be coming out this year as well so those are also potentially what could be factored in here with him saying here there's going to be new consoles but of course the big one is the Nintendo Switch 2 as that's not going to be just a refresh of the Nintendo Switch but a straight up like next generation of Nintendo with a whole new bunch of games. And then it says here, other Japanese developers are extremely excited about the Nintendo Switch 2. Koei Tecmo's Fumihiko Yasuda, the director of the Neo series, and the upcoming Rise of the Ronin said his team cannot wait to see what the new consoles and their titles will bring. While he did not mention the new Nintendo system, another Koei Tecmo developer, Kenichi Ogasaware, did, saying that the new console has already been the center of attention. Spike Chunsoft's Yusuke Katakata also shared his excitement for the Nintendo Switch 2. So these people did actually straight up say that the Nintendo Switch 2 is an exciting thing for this year. Now, I don't think that this confirms anything like that this is going to be coming out this year, but it's possible to think that these may have some like developer dev kits about the Nintendo Switch 2 and have some information on it. Maybe they are working on games for the Nintendo Switch 2 as well. As of course, if you do have a game ready when a brand new system comes out, as it is one of the only few things Things that you can play it can be very big for a type of like small developer who doesn't have like a lot of sales usually with their types of games as that would definitely be a game that a lot of people would buy and then it just says here as already mentioned the new console from nintendo has yet to be officially revealed so all of its details are still unknown according to multiple reports the system will be revealed this march for a late 2024 release and will support nvidia dlss technology including ray reconstruction which will make it superior to the playstation 5 and xbox x and s in terms of ray tracing quality and performance if the rumored specs are real the nintendo switch 2 will also have no trouble delivering smooth 1080p gameplay with ray tracing 
Now, the second article that we have here came out just this morning from Video Games Chronicle, and it says here, Switch 2 likely to be an iteration rather than a revolution, predicts Analyst. And it says here, Nintendo's next generation console is expected to launch this year. And it says here, Nintendo Switch's successor will launch this year and will likely be an iteration of the current hardware design rather than a revolution. That's according to Dr. Serkin Toto, CEO of the Tokyo-based game industry consultancy Canton Games, who contributed his forecast for 2024 in the Game Industry Biz Annual Analyst Predictions feature. Although the company is yet to comment publicly, Nintendo's next generation console is widely expected to launch this year after VGC reported that development kits are in the hands of developers as the platform holder prepares its plans. According to Canton Games Toto, the console could launch at $400, which would be $100 higher than the price that the Switch launched at, and there's a chance its games could adopt the $70 pricing of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. The time is finally here for a Switch successor. Even though I can say a pro model actually did exist and certain developers were already working with the dev kit, Toto wrote. I believe that the next hardware will drop in 2024 for $400. There is a high chance that games will cost more too, $70. According to the industry consultant, Nintendo's next console will again have the portable functionality as VGC reported last year. The next system is also likely to be an iteration rather than a revolution. Nintendo might add some bells and whistles to the device, but it will still be similar to the current Switch. And because there is Pokemon, and Pokemon is associated with handheld gaming, there is no way on earth that Nintendo will drop the portability feature for their next big thing. Nintendo President Shintaro Furukawa declined to comment on plans for the company's next console in November as, as it announced the Switch had cleared 132.46 million lifetime sales. Despite its unusually strong performance for a console entering its seventh year on the market, Switch hardware sales are clearly in decline, especially in major markets outside of Japan. In Nintendo's last fiscal year, Switch sales declined by 22% compared to the previous year, and if it reaches its current target of 15 million for this year, that will represent a further decline of 16.5%. Now all of this I feel like makes perfect sense as well. So the article really talks about how the next Nintendo system is most likely going to be an iteration from the current Nintendo Switch that we all have rather than like a complete revolution for the gaming industry and an all new experience that we've never seen before. And I feel like this is pretty much what everybody wants. I feel like Nintendo found something really special with the Nintendo Switch and it really is an incredible system and I remember just having that experience for the first time where I was playing a game on the TV with Breath of the Wild and then my parents said we had to go somewhere so I remember taking out the Joy-Cons from the side of the little grip, clicking them into the side of the Nintendo Switch tablet itself, picking it up and taking it with me into the car and it was really there where I realized how insane it was that I'm still continuing my game in Kakariko Village, an entire home console game wherever I go. And it's just such a cool system that you can do that with and I feel like a lot of people just wouldn't be able to go back to having a divided like kind of experience where like you have a handheld dedicated system or just an only home console system too and it's so cool because tons of people play their Nintendo Switch in different ways maybe you only play it in docked mode and it's always on your TV maybe you only play it in handheld and you always just take it with you wherever you go so it's a very special system and that's why people don't really want that type of stuff to go away we just want it to be more powerful so that way when you try to have more demanding things third-party games and stuff you don't have like really low resolution textures and games and the frame rate isn't stuttery and always dipping and lagging and stuff that's pretty much just what people want and then some extra little bells and whistles and maybe some better features and that's pretty much just what everybody wants and it would be an iteration from the current Nintendo Switch that we have we don't want like a whole new completely revolutionary brand new Nintendo experience we just want the current Nintendo Switch but with some better features. And the rumored $400 price I feel like would be the perfect sweet spot for where to price the Nintendo Switch 2 as if you make it like $450 or $500 then you're really up there with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X which are still going to be significantly more powerful than the Nintendo Switch 2 from the rumored specs that we have. And so for $400 you can definitely still put some decent hardware in there and some good technology like the Nvidia DLSS and all of that. But for $400, it's not going to be like they're cutting corners and stuff to make it like $300 still or $350. So we can definitely still expect a really big leap coming from the current Nintendo Switch. 
And finally, while I hate to admit it and I really don't want this to happen, I do feel like for the next Nintendo system, Nintendo is going to be adopting the $70 pricing that we see now for PS5 games and Xbox Series X games. And we've already seen Nintendo try to do this with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where that game is $70 just for the normal Nintendo Switch version. And that game still sold over 18 million. So people definitely did not mind paying $70 for that game. And personally to me, that game is still not worth 70. Like there's nothing in that game that makes me go like, wow, this was definitely worth way more than what Breath of the Wild was. But for me, I definitely do think that Nintendo is going to make the jump to then making everything be $70 now for their next system. So definitely start preparing for the next Smash Bros, the next Fire Emblem, the next Xenoblade, the next Mario, the next Zelda, and the next like anything really, the next Pokemon generation to cost $70 for the next system. I don't want that to be the timeline that we live in, but Nintendo does kind of jump to everything eventually. Like we even saw when the Wii U came out, the PS4 and the Xbox one all had online that you had to pay for and the Wii U still had free online but with the Nintendo Switch Nintendo also made their online services for a fee so if everyone else is also having $70 games then nothing is really stopping Nintendo from doing the same thing as well. But yeah, there you go guys, that is pretty much all the information that we have right now about Nintendo's next generation system. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well, as I'm definitely going to have some more videos talking about Nintendo Switch 2 as the information comes out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about all of this. How do you guys feel about all of this information with the Nintendo Switch 2? Would you be okay with it being like an iteration and not something completely revolutionary? And how do you feel about these developers expressing their interest and do you think that the system is actually going to come out this year go follow me on twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my discord server as well we've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about pokemon and smash bros and nintendo so definitely be sure to join that but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching